Hi, Central Denison. It's Mrs. Corna, and I'm in the library today celebrating America Monday. I bet you're at home dressed in red, white, and blue, ready for your first day of school after spring break. Today I'm going to read to you how to make a cherry pie and see the USA. The author's name is Marjorie Priceman. In the mood for a cherry pie? Let's get started. First, mix flour and salt in a bowl. What? No bowl? You will definitely need a bowl. Also a pie pan, a rolling pin, a measuring cup, a pastry slab, a set of spoons, and some pot holders, which you can get at the cook shop. But if the cook shop happens to be closed, go to New York and hail a taxi. Ask the driver to drop you off at the corner of Pennsylvania and Ohio. Then find the closest coal mine. Coal is used to make steel and you need steel to make your pie pan. Take the trolley deep underground and fill a bucket to the brim. Don't forget your hard hat and flashlight. Next, ride a riverboat down the Mississippi. It takes as long to sail it as to spell it. If the boat docks in Louisiana at lunchtime, eat a bowl of gumbo. Then go to a cotton farm and pick an armful of cotton for your pot holders. Catch an express bus to New Mexico. If the bus stops at the northwest corner of the state, take the opportunity to be four places at once. That was fun. Now back to work. Your task is to find some clay. A good place to look is down. You're probably standing on it. Dig up enough clay to make a mixing bowl. Look out for cactus needles. Board a train to Washington, the only state named for a president, the only president rumored to have a set of wooden teeth. Speaking of wood, go to the forest and find a nice branch. Saw off a piece the size of a rolling pin and then... Attention! We interrupt this book to report that you have won an all-expense-paid trip to Hawaii! Your ship will leave today from California. Hurry! Aloha! This is great news because you need sand and Hawaii has plenty of it. Glass is made from sand and you need glass to make your measuring cup. Fill a pail with sand. Watch out for falling coconuts. Make your way to New Hampshire for granite. New Hampshire can usually be found between Maine and Vermont. Granite can usually be found on the sides of steep mountains. Rappel down the side of a mountain and chisel a chunk of granite for your pastry slab. Next stop, Texas. To get to Texas, follow the coastline south. When you hit Florida, turn right. Then go straight until you run into a longhorn steer. Ask the steer directions to an oil field. Plastic is made from oil and you'll need about a quart to make your spoons. Tip your hat to the oil workers, then head to the airport. Board a plane flying north. When you're over South Dakota, don't forget to wave to the presidents. Then chill out in Alaska, just because it's there. After you've seen the scenery, hurry home. Now all you have to do is process the coal, mix with iron and roll into flat sheets, form the sheets into a pie pan. Spin the cotton into thread, weave the thread into cloth, cut and stitch the cloth into pot holders. Carve the wood into a rolling pin, then sand and seal. Shape the clay into a bowl. Paint with glaze, then fire. 
process the oil and pour into spoon-shaped molds. Cut the granite into a square pastry slab, then smooth and polish. Melt the sand until it liquefies, then pour into a measuring cup mold. Next, using your bowl, spoons, rolling pin, measuring cup, pie pan, pastry slab, and pot holders, mix the ingredients and bake the pie. When the pie has cooled, cut into slices with a pie server. If you don't have a pie server, you can get one at the cook shop. But if the cook shop is still closed, why not join the parade? And that's the end of our story. Let's celebrate America Monday and the book How to Make a Cherry Pie and See the USA by actually making a cherry pie. Here are the tools you'll need for making your cherry pie. You'll need three bowls, one small bowl and two bowls that are medium large in size. You'll also need a measuring cup, a measuring teaspoon, a measuring tablespoon, a spoon, and a spatula. You'll need a pie pan for baking your pie in and some aluminum foil. The aluminum foil can be used to line the oven rack or you can use it to cover a cookie sheet to go under your pie so that if it drips a little, it won't make a big mess in the oven. You'll need a rolling pin for rolling out your pie crust and you'll need some wax paper. Here are the ingredients you'll need for making a cherry pie. You'll need flour, sugar, oil, salt, cornstarch, and cherries. Now you're gonna need six to eight cups of cherries. If you don't have cherries, you could substitute cranberries, you could use blueberries, or you could use a mixture of berries also. They could be fresh berries, or they could be frozen berries. If you're using frozen berries, make sure that you thaw them all the way and drain off the juice. You could use pie spice if you'd like. You don't have to. Instead of pie spice, you could use a little bit of cinnamon and allspice. And you might use an egg white to help make sugar stick on the top of your pie crust. In the small white bowl, combine 3 fourths of a cup of sugar, 1 fourth of a cup of cornstarch, about a fourth of a teaspoon of pie spice, and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You're going to stir those together, and when those are combined, you're gonna stir those into your berries and then let the berries sit. Let's get the pie crust ready. First, we're going to put three cups of flour in a medium large size bowl. There's one, two, three. Next, we're going to mix in one fourth cup of sugar and a half a teaspoon of salt. We'll mix those together until they combine. Next, add one cup of oil and stir, but don't over mix. When most of the flour seems to be combined, you're going to add milk. You'll add two to four tablespoons of milk. We'll start with about three tablespoons and then check to see if it's about the right consistency. Three. And now we'll stir to combine. We don't want it to be sticky. I 
think that's just about right. Now we're going to divide the dough in half. Half of the dough is going to go into the pie pan like this. And the dough will be pressed into the pie pan and up the edges with your fingers. Pop that in the refrigerator while we get the top layer of the pie crust ready. To make the top crust, we'll start with a long rectangle of wax paper. We're going to fold it in half so that you have two squares. We're going to open that up and we're going to take a paper towel and just use some of the oil that's left over in the cup measure from measuring in our oil and wipe it on the wax paper. Then we'll take the remaining pie crust dough and plop it on one side of the wax paper. Now we'll close the wax paper like a book And we'll be ready to roll this out to make the top crust of our pie. So we'll take the rolling pin and we'll roll this out. Now if you have a helper, this is a great time to have your helper hold the wax paper still so that you can roll without it sliding all over. And you're going to roll until it has a circular kind of shape and fills most of the space in your folded wax paper. We'll set this aside. Now we're ready, ready to assemble the pie. We've got the pie crust bottom out of the fridge. We're going to take the cherries and empty them into the pie crust. We'll take the pie crust that we rolled out to make the top layer and we're going to peel off of peel off the top layer of the wax paper. Just push that back on. And we're going to put one hand under this pie crust and flip it over on top of the pie. Looks like we have a little tear there, but that'll be okay. Now we're going to take the edges and just fold them back to make a crust edge, pushing the crust into the bottom crust so they seal together. There, now we've got our pie pretty much assembled. Next we're going to put some sugar on the top of it. To make the sugar stick, we're going to take an egg and we're going to separate the egg. So we'll crack it and we're going to put the egg white into one bowl and we'll put the yolk aside. We can save that for another project on another day. Now we're going to take a fork and just whisk those egg whites a little bit. Now we could take a spoon or the fork and smooth this onto the top of the pie. Or if you have a pastry brush, you can brush it across the top of your pie like this. Take a little bit of sugar and sprinkle it across the top. Then you'll take a butter knife 
and cut some air vents so that when your pie cooks, the steam can escape. And then your pie will be ready to go into the oven. The oven should be preheated to 400 degrees. You'll let it bake at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Then you'll turn the temperature down to 350 degrees for another 35 to 45 minutes. Remember your pie is going on top of either aluminum foil or a cookie sheet covered with aluminum foil just in case the filling leaks out a little bit. So the pie has cooled for a couple of hours. Let's cut it and give it a try. So let's give our cherry pie a try. Mm. If you liked how to make a cherry pie in Sea to USA, you might also like how to make an apple pie and see the world.